Ian. Wow, was there another incredible dream overnight. Every soul has the mission to save other souls on this earth, but to fulfill this duty, a certain authority is necessary. An authority that is commensurate with the end in view. The one source of this moral authority is Holy Communion. No one can resist a person in whom Jesus Christ dwells and who, by his words and actions, makes us aware of this divine presence. St. Peter Julian Amard The incredible dream overnight following the 3 a.m. traditional Tridentine Holy Sacrifice of the Mass celebrated in Latin, live-streamed here in Detroit from Sacred Heart Church, Institute of Christ the King Sovereign Priest in Limerick, Ireland. You found yourself in the dream about to deliver a second baby in addition to the three now young adult children you have in the natural. The first child in the second spiritual set is a boy. That boy represents I Am's work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus in modern times. Your first three children were delivered in the natural while still legally married. These next two in the dream overnight came while legally divorced although still sacramentally married until death in the eyes of Almighty God. You have remained faithful to your marriage vows, thanks be to God. Your spouse continues to live in a perilous state of adultery. The second child in the dream overnight is delivered inside a hospital. Despite the fact that the child was delivered in an allopathic hospital in modern times, by a foreign-born allopathic medical trader who sought to harm the child for profit, the child is nevertheless unharmed. The delivery in the dream overnight was without pain, while the apostolic mission in the natural in modern times has equaled an ongoing crucifixion. More about that later. This event was an incredible marvel. Many things were manifested as you followed along as in so many dreams in the past, with such awe and with wonder. One of the marvels, as in dreams of the past, is that your treasonous husband is present and manifested as the father of this second child, who is a metaphor and, perhaps, more than one. You think to yourself that he does not want to be there, nor does he want the responsibilities of having more children both in the work meaning sacrificial love it takes to raise them properly, but particularly he doesn't want to have to part with the money it takes to have to share one's resources with one's own family. You find yourself in the hospital taking possession of your unharmed newborn child from the diabolical allopathic medical system together with your treasonous spouse who is a self-interested, self-serving, allopathic medical doctor in love with money, which is the root of all evil. As you take possession of the beautiful baby that had been delivered of you, as he is manifested as unharmed, divinely protected by God, and as perfect, the man you sacramentally married and who currently lives in an adulterous civil union that leads to eternal punishment in hell, suddenly names the child. Note that the man in the dream represents himself, and he is also a metaphor for the many people whose precious, priceless, and immortal souls hang in a delicate balance at this moment in time, due to their lack of remorse for having broken God's commandments. With the breaking of one commandment comes the breaking of the others. First goes the love for God, and then goes the love for one's neighbor. What the treasonous doctor father patient names his perfect child. He named this perfect child from God, Ian. Ian means God is gracious. What that means for the purposes of this traditional Catholic mystical theology lesson for every soul is that God forgives the humble and contrite wise heart and also that he works through the stubborn and hard-hearted for his greater honor and glory first and foremost, and then for the sake of his people. Eternal victory through Jesus Christ is assured for God's people. 
Each one shall reap what each one has sown. What happened next in the dream? You found yourself going with the married man and the beautiful new baby to a home that appeared unfamiliar. The incredible home prepared for Ian in the dream overnight. The home was new and it had many rooms. It was filled with people from your past and from your present. Who was there for Ian's homecoming? Your family was there to welcome the new baby, including your late sister, who was brutally martyred by the allopathic medical system in 2011. The year before, I am reintroduced his work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus in the year 2012 for the sake of a modern world in very serious grave peril. The man's family was there, and so were his friends, whom you haven't seen in 20 years, once the treasonous spouse was granted the civil divorce he wanted, so he could enter into a wicked civil union with another one day later. As you followed along with such awe and with wonder, you were led through the rooms of the house while encountering the people you know from both sides, yours and his. All was very peaceful and serene, for you worship, serve, and adore the right master. The man in the dream had prepared this home for Ian. The attention to detail in it was astounding. Each room had been professionally designed, and you have never seen anything like it in the natural. Nothing was lacking when it came to the incredible decor and the furnishings. You wondered if the man's intentions were good, but suspected that his heart had not changed. All of a sudden, your late sister began leading you through another part of the house. That part of the house was on the east side. That tour within this incredible house took you to different places within the United States of America in 2020, in the three rooms you were shown at this time in human history, before the dream ended. Trust all things to Jesus and the Blessed Sacrament, and to Mary, help of Christians, and you will see what miracles are. St. John Bosco To learn more about Almighty God, our Father of Mercies, work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus in modern times, your vital, irreplaceable, indispensable, and God-given holy apostolate of reparation at this time in human history, spiritual combat training, devotion for the dying, divine justice for every soul, how to prepare for a holy death, for prayers for the holy souls in purgatory, and for more traditional Catholic faith formation throughout the lifespan visit www.theworkofreparation to the holy face of Jesus.com. Ian, God is gracious, and he is so in love with us all.